problem. Yeah, that was a really dumb move, man. Shake it off. Go get that 8822. I know you can. Say, but we aren't even the leaders. What the f*** does he think? He was the leader at the time. I think he was trying to keep everybody behind him. Very dumb move. Shake it off. Go get those guys in front of you. All right, that makes a little more sense. All right. <laughs> yeah. We're here. We're that here. We're here. Was, uh... Just so everybody knows, that was Jimmy Johnson at the beginning. It's not Goofy, who I yeah. thought it was originally. <laughs> <laughs> who the hell I didn't know who it was until I heard nation. Cliff's voice. Yeah. Like I yes. recognize Cliff's voice. Yeah. yeah, I was I was puzzled for the first ten seconds. I was like, uh, I don't know who that is. When I was pulling that audio, I had to go back and just like. What did he say there? <laughs> yeah. Like, I had to listen to it a couple of times to get, what the hell is he thinking? You know, it almost sounds like he was taking a sip of his drink and then something like Happened. caught you off guard. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or, yeah. Do, or doing a goofy impression. <laughs> yeah. Maybe he was thinking about goofy. That's what he does in the car to like calm himself <laughs> down. He just does different goofy impressions. He just got caught in the moment when he was still in the impression. Have you ever, ever done that? Have you ever had an impression going and you just can't get out of it? No? no. no. Just me? I do goofy a lot though. Yeah. I just say gorsh a lot. <laughs> yeah. I do like unhinged Jimmy Johnson. That is me we too. It's good. Bit. A little it's bit good. more of that peek through this year. Yeah. yeah. Well, welcome into season four. Oh yeah, we are here. Of the glass case. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sure. yeah wow. Senior year. Yeah. We we made it. We are uh, here for the senior year. We got Bubba Wallace in studio. Hi. I don't know what camera. Hey. I think Hello. we're in this one. We're I think we're mainly one. in that. Yeah. One. Okay. Or in their ears on the podcast because they're listening Hi. to the audio. That's right. Hello. <laughs> um, but yeah, Bubba's with us today because uh, Mr. Blaney is of course off doing in a teepee. All I know yeah, is I saw a photo yeah, of a TP. A, yeah, he's camping somewhere. I'm wearing my Western shirt in solidarity with his camping. Ah, I see I that. Makes sense now. Yeah, I was questioning yeah. your attire. You know, sometimes you just got to throw on a shirt and see if it sticks. Is he like that a lone ranger? That means you need to wash it if it sticks. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, I do need to do laundry. I still haven't really Me too. finished the laundry from like Daytona. And oh, oh mine's from like so. Homestead. Yeah. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah. Geez. Wow. Okay. All right. Yeah. <laughs> just stand up by itself? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Do you do your own laundry? I don't know. Yeah. I would imagine there's probably people in the garage that don't do their own laundry. Oh, I'm sure. I mean, I used to have a, I used to have a maid come by, uh, but then I moved into a new house and it was much smaller. I still need a maid, but I don't feel like paying. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I do my own laundry. So that's why it sits around yeah. for forever. Yep. I don't need laundry done until I'm like, Shit, I got an appearance in 30 minutes. I need to do laundry. Did you know? 30 that- minutes is not enough time. I know. Did you know that Quick wash. A laundry service that you can put it all in a bag and put it on your doorstep, and they'll come and they'll take it, and they'll bring it back, and they'll fold it. How much does that cost? It's like 25, 30 bucks. Is that only in Charlotte? Not in BFE? I don't know, like, how far out into BFE, like, is it, I don't know what Definitely won't is. get to Ryan's place. No, no, oh, God, no. no. <laughs> like, the, the old man, the the old the man carrying the pitchfork, like, directing the traffic out there won't <laughs> let that fan through. <laughs> like, when we went out there for the Halloween party, Dear yeah. God. I thought, like... Yeah, banjos were going to start. It still shocks me he lives that far out. Part of me is like, oh, I get it because he's, he, I could see that f- is fitting for him. But then yeah. other times I'm like, but the house doesn't what? fit. Yeah, like that house is too modern for that area. Like it's there's a lot. That, I tell him every time, yeah. you will never sell this house. You are <laughs> stuck you. with it. <laughs> no, 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 no. Like, when no, he first no. bought it, I was like, oh, there's like cows like wandering like right hey. next door, and then yeah. there's like an ultra modern. Mm, he yeah. likes it though. That's that's blaming. That, yeah. that's all just that a smorgasbord of shit. <laughs> Since this is the first episode back from the off season and all that, uh, how was everybody's off season? Did what you? off season? Fair. Mm. Touche. It was okay. Yeah. Short. It was okay. We went to Turks and Caicos. Oh, that's Boring. nice. Really? What? Yeah, I'm not the person lay out on the beach. I'm not either. Okay. But I'm a little too dark ex- to be doing that. You know, excursions. Yeah, if you wanted to pay an arm and a leg. Oh, yeah, no. Mm. But I got sick. Oh. Um, uh, like, congested sick. Oh, okay. The day that we were all going to go out on the boat. So I had the whole house to myself. It was nice. Oh. I slept till like, 4 o'clock in the afternoon. So then what's Ooh. your ideal vacation? Like, Hawaii is top of the list. But, like, we were doing everything. The views were beautiful. Like, there wasn't really much to do unless yeah. you wanted to go, like, well, there wasn't really much. There was one main road. Did you do the, what's the... In Hawaii, where you go up the mountain and you ride bikes down. I oh, that. Uh, it it begins with the, the Mount Wanahakalugi. Yeah, yes. that one. It's, it's um, road to, road to Hana is similar, <laughs> but it's like a hakalakalaka. Yeah, <laughs> uh, like Haleakala. Haleakala. Something uh, like Haleakala. that, yeah. 
You're like above the clouds. Yeah. Right. And it's super cool. We did that. Yeah. That was the coolest thing we did. Yeah. Uh, then cool. Road to Hana was second. But uh, but yeah, that's like those types of things. I don't know. It was it was too chill for me. We went for nine days. Oh, that's a yeah, long time. Yeah, a long too. time. I'd rather go to like a European destination where there's like multiple like outlets museums castles. Yes. and castles and yeah. pubs and yeah that's we did not but it was a good time it was a good time but then it was christmas and then new year's i swear i feel like it was just new year's yesterday and it's already yeah, yeah. february 25th we've already we're, we're two races into March. the season like we're two races into the season how uh, did that even happen technically uh, three when you count the yeah the, the clash three ish ish speed weeks is always its own Yes. Entity, and now we're in the regular season. Yes. Kim, yeah, that's crazy. Did you do anything fun? Uh, I went to Santa Monica with my mom over the oh, season. I like that Santa was, Monica. Oh, I do it's too. So nice. I had never been. I've been. I've been to Southern California a bunch, but Santa Monica is like different. For a second, I was like, "Ooh, where's that? Sounds awesome. Where's Santa Monica? Oh, that's California. That's <laughs> in the country. It's, it's LA. But no, no, I was like, <laughs> yeah. "Oh, I like that place. Yeah. I like because it. it's like it. way more laid back than yeah. LA. There's mm-hmm. not like traffic at all. We yeah. never had to deal with traffic." Went to like Venice Beach. Talking about California and no an, traffic. Took an I art call class. Bullshit. <laughs> not in San, not just within like the city limits of Santa Monica. Yeah, yeah. All the old houses too. We went to um, this is like three or four years ago. My manager Kyle and Amanda, we all went to um, what did we go for? A ridiculousness. Oh, there when we yeah, shot yeah, that. yeah. And uh, we all went out in Santa Monica that night and we went to this place called Harvels, oh. and it's like a uh, that night it was a jazz theme inside. <sighs> Holy cow. Stop. Like, could not even. This was the only room you oh, had. No. That's right up my alley, though. And it was the coolest thing for like two hours. And, like, that's probably the top of the list of things I've done inside the country is going to Harvel's in Santa Monica. It's just All a right. small, tiny bar. I'll put it on my list. And just awesome. It was like a Thursday. So I think, like, we pulled it up. I'm like, damn, we got to come back. And, like, Tuesday's like country thing. I'm like, ah, yeah, I'm no, none of <laughs> that. Yeah. There's a jazz bar in Charlotte now. I haven't been yet. Yeah, it's mm. right Middle across the street C? from here. Middle C? Yeah. Oh, is yeah. it being built in all this construction? It, it has been built. <laughs> oh, okay. I think it's the old... I think it's uh, open. I wanted to say Bell South building. I don't um, know. I haven't been I yet. Think it's, uh, but it's over there. Hmm. Um, it's open. It looks very like modern. Like When I want when I want to go to a jazz club, I want it to be like you go inside, you go down some stairs. Yeah. It's smoky when you walk in. Mm-hmm. There's not a lot of people. Very dimly lit. Um, yeah. yeah kind of like a New York jazz. Yeah. Bar. This is yeah. how Harvel's was. In. Oh, was, I love yeah. that. There's awesome. a place in Columbus called Light of the Seven Matchsticks, and they do a like every last Sunday of every month. They do yeah. a bourbon and jazz night. Mm. Well, that's cool. Charlotte yes. shockingly has torn down one of its good uh, jazz places. Or all the of double its good door music. Used to be, all of its good music yeah. venues. Starting to kind of come back, but there's it's it's just. It's Makes you want to go to New Orleans. Yeah. Now, talking about that, there's so many good jazz spots there. Yeah. I've never. I've only been to New Orleans once. And I was it's young, great. too young. I was like sixteen. We went I, for the it's Essence such Festival. Such a good city for food, Ooh. not even for like getting <laughs> faced for actually like eating, eating delicious food. Yeah. yeah, gumbo. Oh, everything. You can't go to a bad restaurant because it's a foodie city. So like, mm, you won't place. survive as a restaurant unless you have good, good food. food. So yeah. it's not even like all the Cajun stuff. It's everything. Yeah. Every yeah. type of food is good. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. So that's our off seasons. That's fun. Yeah, I really got. I you mean, know, we're we're easing back into this this series. Yeah, no doubt. Stuff. Um, you had a pretty good finish at Las Vegas. Not bad. Not bad at all. Good good gamble call there. Uh, we were going to finish about twentieth, which is still good for us. Uh, but the opportunity presented itself, and we were able to capitalize. Nice. How were those uh, restarts at Vegas? I know uh, I was absolute dog. <laughs> I was sideways. So mine were terrible, but they were wild though. They were just, wild. Just it seems like everyone there was like three, four wide. I was just, middle of five wide at one time. Oh. Yeah, and Freddie was uh, five wide, five wide, five wide, four, four, ah, four ah. Three, two. Okay, you're good. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then Kosh came out. Yeah. Fred, he wrecking behind you, and I'm like, Mama didn't raise no bitch running five <laughs> wide. <laughs> <laughs> so, Do you yeah. wear a heart monitor at all ever? No, I probably should. Yeah. Just to see. Just to see. Yeah. Is Freddie pretty? Because I don't. So is he interesting like, fact. So when I started in the NASCAR levels, K and N level, uh, in 2010, Herman, Mike Herman, was supposed to. We knew mm-hmm. him, family friend, for a, a long time. Uh, he was going to spot for me, but he took an ARCA gig with Ty Dillon, and so he's like, "Hey, I got this guy, come spot for you at Greenville." So it's like, okay, so Freddie. So we go down there, we're leading, 
and uh, we get down the green white checkered or five laps go, whatever it is, restart. And he's like, clear, clear, clear. It's not outside. And I'm like, I'm like overdriving. The <laughs> corner, like, holy, <laughs> shit. we ended up winning the race. And first thing I said, Freddie, if you ever want to have a job and work for me again, you got to calm down. So calm it down. Then, yeah. Ever Dally since back. then, he's been like, you're clear. He was a little worked up running five wide. So I think you talk about heart monitor. Yeah. In those situations, I'm like the most calm. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you know what? A spotter should wear a heart monitor. They talk about the drivers yeah, all the time wearing it. Be, I'd be curious yeah. to know if the We should spotter, put it on Freddie. Yeah. Half the time he's usually hung over, so it's 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 good. But maybe like good. definitely at like <laughs> a <good>. super <laughs> speedway. Keep driving. Super Clear. speedway. Or Everything you need's out the front window. Yeah. Uh Freddie has an interesting uh vocabulary. He he makes up his own words. Uh clearly. Clearly is a word. Is no, like no, no, no. Clear? For for Racing, it's not. Oh. It's freaking, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> like he, we'll I forgot that. what he said. He was like, clearly, when I was clear. I'm like, oh, when you were clear. Yeah, I'm Instead like, of just saying clear. What the <laughs> hell does clearly mean? He's like, ah, it's like low, clear, low, like clearly. I'm like, okay, great, awesome. I don't know what that means. Yeah, good times with old Frederick. Ten oh. years going on. Nice. Yeah. It was yeah. like when we had the Jimmy sound off the top. Uh, one of the things that I found earlier was Earl, his spotter, uh, basically Earl. calmly saying. Uh, yeah, man, just uh, shove it up his <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Ten <Alrighty. four. laughs> That's uh, just, but how calm he was yeah. saying that. I don't like, know if I've ever heard Earl get pissed yeah. or like worked up. There would, mm. it, I feel like his worked up, and I feel like for a spotter it's good if you're like, because you're having to wheel and deal on the mm. roof. Also probably depends on your driver, Yeah, how worked up you get. You really don't want the guy upstairs getting no. worked up because they've got to still maintain all those. Yeah. You know. It's true. So. Because there's I, a couple of spotters that get. What about old Brett? <laughs> or Kevin Hamlin with some of the the drivers that he's had to. Yeah. Oh, it's Bristol. Not, it's not his own fault. Yes. It's not his fault. And it's Br- usually post-race. <laughs> <laughs> Bristol, Natalie Decker, <laughs> the best radio <laughs> transaction ever. Poor Kevin. Yeah. yeah. I don't it's know a tough f- doing. I with. Y'all have fun. <laughs> it's a tough job. The spotter's job is in. Uh, I guess under- yeah, you have zero control over you, anything. You were just relaying info, and yeah. it's like I don't know if they're gonna listen or not, but I'm yeah. just telling them what to do. Yeah, that's 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 got to be a tough job. Like I don't know. I could never do it. No, I mean, the amount of things that you have to pay attention to is just. And then the wheeling and dealing you have to do yeah. atop the mm-hmm. tower, wherever you are. Yeah, and then they go down and like make deals with people, like hey. Yeah. Like we were trying to make a deal with the nine and the five hundred because you know if, if we were like pitting together, then he was gonna let me go by. Yeah. So it wasn't. Yeah. A, uh, it's like I'll be right back, bro. I'm middle of five wide. Where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> Don't leave me. Yeah, uh, just you're you're still good. Are the clearly. spiders all friends? Like amongst each other? Yeah, or most of them. They all. Like- I think it's like it's like us drivers. They give each. <laughs> but yeah. Okay. Because like oh, you get damn, look at that! Now look what I did! Wow! Yeah. Okay. Error. Forgot to Charles? hit mute. Wow. Good on ya. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's cool. It's you first know. one back. First one back. That's you know. Right. What it's was good. it reminding you to do? That there's a meeting in five minutes. That you're gonna miss. <laughs> yeah. No, fifteen minutes. But I'm still gonna. Miss. <laughs> <laughs> Five, fifteen. Well, yeah. It's a regroup meeting, so you mm. know, it's a meeting about a meeting that happened mm. before, and then we're gonna regroup and circle back and gotcha. caucus about it. Mm-hmm. And really uh, the delineate the issues. And then that the are plan really, the next meeting about Right, meeting. right. We don't want to silo these different objectives that everybody's so trying many to buzzwords. work through. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Oh, we were talking about Vegas. It just dawned on me. We, we skipped over Daytona because you got to jump out of a plane oh, at Daytona. Yeah. We didn't get to talk about that. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah? Yeah. So Air Force Partnership, they're always asking me like, hey, what do you want to do? And I give them a very nonchalant answer. I don't care. We can do whatever. And they're just like, all right. Well, then they start talking about, well, you know, Area 51. Can yes. we do that? <laughs> yeah, I would do that. I don't know what's available. Give me the whole platter and let me look. Give me the menu and I yeah. will look through. I want some of this, some I want of this. this, that, and that. A little bit like, of number 17. Let's go blow s- yeah. up. Like, let's go drop bombs somewhere, mm-hmm. you know? Like, I don't know. Yeah. And they were like, well, you want to jump out of a plane? I'm like, sure, why not? I'll do that. But can we circle back to this Area 51 thing? <laughs> yeah, did you I know, get to I do keep it? asking them, no, no. Oh, they're dang. like, they're like, nah. I was like, maybe. He just mentioned it, and he can't talk about it. Okay. And he actually did. I didn't know it was an Air Force base. Blink yeah, twi- it, was it twice. Groom Lake? I don't know. And there's, I think it's the Groom Lake Air Force. They base said like the, there's like one restaurant there, but yeah. they all like go with it. 
Like, oh, they yeah. have, like, a bunch of aliens hanging in the window. Whoa. But I'm like, I want to get there. They're like, mm, yeah, this probably won't happen. They didn't say no, but they were like, yeah, mm, yeah nah. Shoot. So but I would love to. The skydiving sky sky was cool. Yeah. Uh, we went up in a, um, uh, what did we go up in? Uh, um, C-17. Uh, oh, I didn't C-17, think about, like, the yes. cool thing you got to jump out of, too. Because yeah. when I've been skydiving, like, I it was just, like, like a prop a plane. Dodo plane. Yeah. 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 Oh, man. C-17. And I was like... Just standing next to that thing was massive. You could put this whole studio inside of it and two others. So, I mean, it was ridiculous. And there was only eight of us total. Uh And so we had this whole room. Like, literally, you could play half-court basketball in there. It was massive. Uh, Super cool. And so once we got up in the air, there was a really good chance we weren't going to jump because of cloud coverage. So you can't fly through the clouds. And, uh, And so we went up there. And we opened up the back door, and I was like, this is cool. And just seeing, like, the damn world or the earth, whatever you want to call it, just right out of the back, we're just cruising around. And they were just walking around, looking over the edge, like, nah, can't see anything yet. I'm like... Were you, like, strapped in somewhere? Yeah, I was side? sitting with Randy, my tandem guy. <laughs> we were we were sitting there. He was like, all right, sit down right there. And so we strapped up. So we were, we were good. We were sitting on the chairs, but there was one guy... That was tethered. Mm-hmm. The other ones already had their shoot on, but it's like if we had turbulence, y'all are gone. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> yeah. Bye. Um, but it was cool. It was really cool. Wasn't nervous at all until the last final step out. No, I, I didn't think you, because it's like a thing. You probably just like walk walked walked right, right off. Mm-hmm. That's weird. Yeah. So we got up. We got like three or four feet away. Yeah. And we stood there for a second, and it was like all right, two minutes, and then it was like all right, one minute, and then you just look over, and the guy's just like, let's roll. And he, so he just pushes you out. <laughs> and you're like, okay. You have no choice yeah. in this. You're and going. it's like, oh, God. And so you, you think you stress about so much, like, don't do this, don't do that. That's uh-huh. what he tells you because it'll mess us up. So he's like, make sure your, your feet kick my butt. That's what he said. Yeah. And I'm like, they okay, you got to arch your back. He's like, arch. He told me that like 10 times. Arch, arch, arch. And breathe. They tell you to breathe too? Mm. Oh, that was the one thing. They're like, a lot of people hold their breath when they jump out of the plane and then they just forget and they're like uh, holding their breath so like, oh no i don't i think i, I think i was breathing i'm yeah, still alive you're so still alive. yeah um but <clears throat> yeah I, I made sure to do all that stuff because he was like if you don't if you bring your knees up to your chest you're gonna mess us up bad yeah. and i'm like <laughs> okay no yeah just feet all the way back and so i looking back at the video i arched really good mm-hmm. so it was cool i was looking at some of the uh, gopro footage of it and you see the other guys that were going around with the cameras, the GoPros yeah, yeah. on their yeah. helmets, like they walked up to the ramp and like stuck their hand out and then just like their whole head goes outside the plane and they're looking down to see where. Yeah. And like you're seeing this from the point of view of the GoPro. Yeah. Like, I, I know. Yeah, they're no, not tethered to no. anything. He's just like, oh, let me just see where we are. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. yeah. It was cool. Oh. Looking at this, uh, Area 51, I pulled this up. Uh Nellis, it's part of the Nellis bombing range test site. So oh, Nellis shit. Air Force Base right yeah. there. You can be like, guys, let's just hop on a plane, go out to Area 51. There's a salt flat out there. Maybe we could do some, uh, you know, speed type things yeah. in a car. Just saying yeah. Air Force. You've That's, done the Thunderbirds though, right? Yeah. Okay. Did Thunderbirds. And I've gone up two other times with the Air Force. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Like they've they shown gotta, you. Cool. They've got to give you something more well, next time. See, you, you, you exactly. spin it like this. Salt flats. They've shown you what their planes can do. Now you get like a general in a race car and do like a time trial thing. Right through the middle of Area 51. On, on the salt flight there. Yeah, huh. boom. You won't see the aliens because you're going so fast. You'll be fine. Or will we see the aliens? <laughs> yeah. mm. and if they you, could be riding right next to us. They could be in the studio with us. They we don't could know. Be. Like there's a lot of things that yes. we don't know. Cue the... <laughs> <laughs> that was, was almost ex- like... Or uh, what was the X-Files? <laughs> That is not it. First. Yeah. Oh. Oh, do, do. oh, yeah, but that, the tone. Yeah, that yeah. 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 yeah you got to have that. Yeah, it, it, it's there. It's, it's there, I promise. It's close. Were you thinking of the law and order? Dong, dong. <laughs> bong, bong. <laughs> Ripped from the head. No, so, I was thinking, I'm thinking of the X-Files, but hearing it out of Chuck's mouth versus the yeah. That's a little bit better. Yeah, yeah. The whistling is a better <laughs> version of that. <laughs> <laughs> Not. It would be, if you had the, it's really good. You if you had the, the headphones part. on, you'd hear it a lot better. Right now. <laughs> if yeah. I had it in surround. Yeah, yeah. You'd hear stereo because I'm a little bit lower into the mm, microphone, so okay. you'd hear it a lot better. So the I never watched that show. The iTunes listeners and the Spotify they're listeners are going to be like, all the different. Like they're going to think they're inside an episode of Sci-Fi. They are. 
They are. Yeah. 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 Or the X File. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, sci-fi speaking movie. of Nellis, uh-huh. I had a blonde moment for no offense to blondes. Oh no, none taken. You know, uh, we were leaving the racetrack and sitting blonde. at the at the uh, <laughs> sitting at Two the uh, stoplight <laughs> across from Nellis Air Force Base. And yeah. Anna looks over. And she's like, "Oh my God, it's an Air Force Base!" And I'm like. <laughs> You've been coming to this race for how long? And you just realized that. You know those planes that buzz by like every five minutes? <laughs> like She's like, That's where they come from. Never never knew that. And I'm like, oh, says Nellis straight away. <laughs> yeah, Nellis <laughs> straight away. Yeah. 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 Usually like, they yes. talk about, too, like the flyover. If <laughs> yeah. You know, they come from <laughs> right here, baby. Yeah. So oh. that's have, you, okay. have you ever seen all the photographers that will stand along the road on the backside of the yes, track? Yes, I noticed that. And take pictures of the planes? Yeah. Like, I'm gonna I be don't that guy. I've noticed that. Well, yep. it's been a while since I've been to a Vegas yeah. actual race. I haven't been to a Vegas race since like 2014. Oh, wow. Like I've had to go out to Vegas to do stuff for NASCAR, but to stay for the actual so race. Like back when you were still doing the Miss Sprint yeah, Cup. Ms. Yes. Sprint yes. Cup. Yes. Cup. Kimberly Coon. Uh, it was Kimberly. Kim. I didn't go by Kimberly. Kim, Kim's like Kimberly. easier to sign. I don't yeah. look like a Kimberly. Mm-hmm. Oh, what does a Kimberly look like? Not you. <laughs> oh. Is that good or like, bad? Like headgear, freckles. I don't know. It's like not good or bad. Hey, okay. man. Like you look like a Kim. I look like a Kim? Yeah. Okay. Kim Possible. All right. Call me, beat me. Yeah. Kimberly's on my birth certificate. Is that too young for you guys? No, I knew Kim, Kim Possible. I know of it. That was an age joke right there. It. Yeah. it was. Yeah. Watch out. Kim Possible, I know. Uh, All right. I don't just... look like a Kimberly. Maybe I'll start going by Kimberly. Is it more mysterious? Yeah. It okay, is. all yeah. right. I'm like, gonna start, Kimberly. Huh, I'm going to start introducing myself as, hi, I'm Kimberly. Yeah, that'd be, <laughs> Should my yeah. voice get like a little, <laughs> like a little lower and raspier? <laughs> hi, I'm Kimberly. Not, not low and <laughs> raspy. Batman. Too low? <laughs> more, or not raspy, I should say breathy. Breathy, yes. Breathy. Raspy. Raspy. Sounds more like, like uh, I've you're been out of smoking breath. marbles. Yeah, yes. That's true. You breath- guys, come breathy. On. <laughs> I'm Kimberly. <laughs> I'm here to. Uh, um, we going to. We go go make some tater tots. No, it'll just be it'll be breathy, like hi, See, I was I was picturing like a Kimberly with freckles, headgear, mm. and sort of cock, kind of like this. Oh yeah. <laughs> Did you? Hey, Kardashian Kimberly. kind of ruined my name, so it was her name. She's older, so it was her name first, but she wasn't famous. Who did? Kim Kardashian kind of ruined. Oh, the name. Damn it, Kim's. Kim. Kim. Jeez. Kimberly. What are some Jeez. other She's famous Kimberly. Kims? Um, Other than um, Kim Possible. There was a character, I think, on Silver Spoons. I think that's where my oh, mom first heard Silver it. Silver Spoons. Yeah. See, you're too young. I don't remember. That. I don't even remember Silver Spoons. Ricky Spoons. Schroeder. Um, and Alfonso Ribeiro. Riri, is that how you say his last name? Uh, no idea. Uh, Carlton. Oh, oh young oh, Carlton. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 Um, he was on Silver another, Spoons. That's a good question. There's not a lot of Kims. There's really not. Oh, Kim Basinger. Uh, oh, yeah. Is it Basinger or Bassinger? That's a great question. That is a good question. Oh, Did Vicky you Vail. hear, speaking yeah. of that, uh, what was it? Was it Michael Waltrip? Was he doing the Xfinity but, race or something? And he said, <laughs> choreography? Stop. <laughs> yes. Was Did it you hear that? intentional? I, yeah. Well, he was like, the choreography, I mean, the, the choreography <laughs> of these guys, I lost it. So I went to one of my uh, reenactments this past weekend. Oh, yeah. And LARPing. Mm. Yes, LARPing. I went nice. LARPing. <laughs> Which uh, reenactment was this? This was the, uh, mm-hmm. it was called Defending the Hardland. It was the uh, Siege of Fort Donaldson <laughs> out in uh, <laughs> western so Tennessee. so many, like, minor battles. We, uh, it was basically winter quarters. We were staying in huts. <laughs> what did you eat? I ate some uh, bacon, some sweet potatoes. <laughs> uh, we had some rice pudding, a lot of rice and beans. It was rather delicious. We had some coffee, all cooked over to, an open flame. Where do you use the bathroom? Uh, they had a board with a hole cut in it. I wonder. Yeah. Okay. Wow. There's all that yeah. rice and beans. And well, you know, sometimes you just. Is that what uh, they call a glory hole? <laughs> That's an inglory hole. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, because oh, you don't, you no. don't want to be a part of that one. No. <laughs> like, I mean, some people might like that. <laughs> like some people, that's some their people thing. Some people have <laughs> different <laughs> fetishes. Oh. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Get I those like mixed to, up. Yeah, I like to keep that out of my fetishes. <laughs> <laughs> just keep as much as we like to talk about poop. Yeah. Just keep that like, out of the oh, fetish realm. Oh. Keep, no, the keep the poop out of the bedroom. <laughs> yes. That's that is the. But you know what? If you're into that, that's fine. Oh, that's come you. on. We've all you. seen Two yeah. Girls, One Cup. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like everybody's like, I mean, I'm not going to. I'm not going to deny it. Everybody every, listening has seen Two Girls, One Cup. Yeah. Don't deny it. And if they haven't, they're Googling it right now. Right now. My uh, roommate 
when it came out, his computer got a virus because of that. Oh, mm. yeah. So be careful. Be careful. Well, that's like before Max. Also, wrote did, a thing. I was just saying, did he have a PC? Because it was a that PC. Was not we good all news know the PC. he had it You're hooked up. Porn, make sure you have a Mac. Uh, yes. He had it hooked up to the TV <clears> in the <throat> living room. Because like there was a group of us and they're like, all right, wait, y'all watched it we're together. We're gonna watch. We're gonna. We're all just gonna like. This is like, it, a this circle was like jerk. 2008, so like yeah. it, it was a bunch of young post college people. Okay. So we're like getting drunk one night and somebody said, "Y'all seen this?" Interesting. Like, all right, Damn. we're gonna watch it. We're gonna watch it. And we it just got good. way yeah. off the rails uh, about so what we were actually talking about. Pronunciation of words. Okay. Yeah. Uh, there was a guy that you know you have an oblique, like something's to your oblique. Like, like o- I oblique like your side, your flank. Yeah, your side. Yeah. yeah. He kept calling it an oblique. And I was like, I'm not in, is, is oblique the proper way or is oblique? I've always heard oblique. I think it's oblique. Yeah. It might just be where he's from. Yeah. Is but it O-B-L-I-Q-U-E? It is. Uh, uh, I'm not a good speller, but yeah. oblique. I think so. Yeah. yeah. O-B-L-I-Q-U-E. Q-U-E. Boom. Yeah. Good job yeah. spelling the winner. Of so, the last case. let's, okay, to switch. Are you done? Mm-hmm. Are you done? It, no, is I was that, looking is that up. The story? Oh, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. That's that is the the end. I found twenty dollars, stabbed a guy, ate some rice and beans, pooped in a hole. Okay. Gotcha. So what does what does this word sound like? You might already know it. You probably do. Oh, uh, I don't know. Q U I N O A. Quinoa. Nah, it's quinoa. <laughs> so Daytona last year. BJ's across from the the racetrack, yeah. go get lunch, and I'm like Hmm, this chicken quinoa bowl sounds really good. Stop. So I had my bus driver go and get it because it was media day. Yeah. It was media day. So he went and got it, had lunch after. And uh, I seen Aftershocks was on our car, and they were like, yeah, I think we're going to go across the street to BJ's. I'm like, oh, go get the chicken quinoa bowl. It's awesome. Like, I've heard quinoa all uh-huh. my life, but I have never seen it spelled. Yeah. Never seen yeah. it spelled. I would not. Quinoa, K-E-N-W-A, quinoa. I mean, Kiowa I, Island is with a K, you know. Like that is true. Yeah. Also, have you ever said a word and been like, is that right? Like, yeah. knowing it's right. You or say read the word a, word a couple of like, times and it starts to yeah, sound yeah. wrong. So it starts yeah. to sound weird. It yeah. also depends on where you're from. Limit. Like, Limit. my mom's. Limit. 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 Roads. Roads. I also think it's a family issue because I put it in front of my sister and she was like, Quinoa. And That's I'm what like, I'm saying. Because <laughs> my mom is from Memphis, and so my cousins like they used to call duvet covers dove it, like the dove it <laughs> oh, covers. Dove cover. Um, and then what else? Oh, quiche, quickie, Qu- Qu- quickie, quickie, quickie. That's how they pronounced quiche. Huh. They had no idea that doesn't even sound or look the same. Quiche. I mean, look at the how quiche is spelled. What is it? You look like a quiche now that we think about it. <laughs> <laughs> Keisha, <laughs> you look like. You just a call me Keisha. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Keisha is Q U I C H E. I believe. Oh, wow. Yeah. See? Oh, wow. I never know. But see, I would have gone quishy. Say it again. Spell it again. Q U I C H E. Well, I wouldn't say quickie. Quish. I would say quish. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that, that sounds so bad. <laughs> it's a plural of quish. <laughs> You have multiple queefs. It's a queefs. Multiple queefs is a queefs. It's a chorus of queefs. A chorus chorus of queefs. I can't even talk now. If it's more than a a couple and a few, you know, a couple's two, a few is four. I mean, (laughs) queefs. Queefs. No, I think queefs is plural. Yes, queefs. Queefs. You can't plural. A lot of times it's an egg used in uh, quiche. Yeah. Where are you going with this? Our conversation about what eggs are. Yeah, but with Ryan and the, the, there's a lot of connecting I'm, I'm the dots that's not oh, working. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Queesh. There will be someone out in the audience that makes that uh, uh, connection maybe. about the queeshes. <laughs> the queeshes. Oh. And the eggs. Next time you hear. <laughs> and I've ruined next time lunch you hear or breakfast queef, for someone. You're going to think of. <laughs> Wait, did you a say queef. the next time you hear a queef? <laughs> Like, have you ever heard one in the wild, though? Like, <laughs> have you been to a yoga class? <laughs> I have not. I have not. What? <laughs> so wait, you're telling me the yoga classes? Are yoga just classes? Like, no like, way. Are are an, a very high probability. <laughs> oh, flatulence. I've heard that. No. But, like, it's. <laughs> oh, there's a know. lot of like oh, twisty poses that. Uh, that, uh, oh, God. <laughs> that is funny. That 
make things happen. <laughs> oh, I, I'm glad I've never done yoga. Yeah. But if I would be the guy, I'd be like, who just queefed? <laughs> <laughs> All of you. you all of you, <laughs> because you it's out. plural. Yeah, yeah, all of them queefed. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, no way. Yeah, that, so that, now like, you can look what? forward to some yoga. I had always, like, wow. slightly been intrigued by yoga. Now I'm not. No, maybe, I, I, oh, you haven't taken one. I've said maybe no. what you thought was flatulence was actually <laughs> queesh. <laughs> <laughs> so there's still just like a <laughs> that was more it's, of a flashlight yeah, sound. It, so it, what is what is the? Is it like I, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, <can't. laughs> I don't even know where I would begin. I don't like um, as I'm saying. I don't think has I've this ever... happened to you? <laughs> no, Keisha. No, I could see Quisha. where it, it could happen. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm sweating so bad. <laughs> I am too. Oh. Well, you're the one that wore a sweatshirt today. I do. Today. I have yes. a shirt underneath, but it's long sleeve and it's gray, and sweat shows oh, way worse than no, it's no, gray. Oh, good or no? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, never mind. Yeah. Never mind. So I feel like I'll stick with the black. Oh, God. Oh, man. That is funny. Yeah. So if that's what you're into, sign up for a yoga class. Nah, <laughs> I'm out. I've always been intrigued by it, like yoga, because like, <laughs> not, not, not queefing. I've been intrigued by queefing since a very young age. I, really, <laughs> I really thought that's where you were going with it. <laughs> I've always wondered, oh. where did this sound come from? What makes this sound? And why does it, no, I'm not going to say And it. why is it ho- so hard to hear in the wild? <laughs> Unless you're in a yoga class. <laughs> but like, that's, that's oh, like, God. does the music not cover it? Because like, it depends. Because uh, I feel like with flatulence, cl- with a fart, you're going to hear, like, there's going to be ripping ass. Like, it, they, call, they don't call it ripping class, ass for a reason. That's true. Not all yoga classes have music. And it's not oh. very loud, usually. Like, if you have, a, like, a power flow class that's, like, a fast moving, some people do. <laughs> no, it's just, like, so, wait, is there a lot of queefing in the power flow class? Maybe, but maybe you can't hear it because it's of the okay. louder music. The ambient noise. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I feel like yoga. Now breathe. It's like, what was that? <laughs> I mean, I get your body is bending in ways that like you don't yeah, normally make it's it. It's like bend. air is yeah. moving you're and being forcing the air out. Yeah. Basically, you're just sucking air up. <laughs> um, <laughs> Not entirely sure not, what to do with my. I don't oh, know. Okay. <laughs> There's a. I, I want to Google it, but I also don't want to Google. Quiche it. is quiche. Got it. Yeah. Yeah. So, that's there's fun. that. Yeah. <laughs> Quinoa, quinoa. Next thing we know, Ch- Chuck is gonna have like a yoga monthly <laughs> <laughs> membership. I'm gonna show up in my yoga pants <laughs> with my sweat camel tail band. hanging out, <laughs> the sweatband, and just sort of, hey guys, I'm here for yoga. <gasps> oh, trying to get man. bendy. Did you say your yoga Yoga's tail? Yoga's good for yeah. you. <laughs> camel tail. Oh, camel, camel tail. tail. <laughs> <laughs> I have never heard that. That's funny. You haven't seen Super Bad? I have. I don't remember that. Yeah, like part. Jonah Hill, like when he's wearing like the, the plaid pants. Yeah, the, like you really see the camel the, tail. Oh, oh. I, really, I just like yeah. the vision symbol, bald. Ball. Right, right. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ah. Draw a big veiny. <laughs> 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 That's oh, funny. Oh man. I like how we eased into this just, episode. Yeah. You don't want to. It, it wasn't planned. It no, was just no. completely. Yeah, because like the topics we have, it don't, does not there's cover. No queefing or uh, no yeah no although i i, I do kind of this one kind of leads into it a little bit this uh 62 year old uh, oh, okay. marine that plank? held a plank got you. for eight and a half hours or eight so. hours 15 minutes and 15 seconds yeah like do you think he had to How, well, i mean he's I, not gonna queef but you think he had to like you know go to the bathroom are we or have we confirmed this is a male or female it is a it's male a guy okay. yeah it's a, male. it's a guy his name is george hood he set my, the uh, long, the record for the longest male abdominal plank. My thing was he went from like his personal record before this one was like an hour and a half. He went from like an hour and a half to eight hours and fifteen minutes. Eight out. What? Yeah. I, what do you do? Like I would get so bored. I I think he listened to music. He was talking about music, but I couldn't tell if he was like thinking about the music in his head or actually listening to music. He had a phone in front of him. Um, oh, that's cheating. But I mean, I, you want to see like your time. I mean, you're not. I gonna, don't like, think I would want to. Uh, maybe. I would start. Yeah. Clock watching. Yeah, I wouldn't want to see it. I think after a certain point, I would want to. But he to, also to make me want to do it longer. He said uh, he has he had to totally disassociate himself from the reality of the clock 
it's an art and a skill set that he's mastered over the years. I mean, I think possibly being a Marine yeah. helped him disassociate mm, some things. Yeah. So um, he did he, it for mental health too, which I thought was really that's cool. cool. Yeah, and he has retired from planking, planking competitive planking. I would, after that. I would retire from um, planking. Hood had blaring rock music throughout the event, something he says nice. helped him live out mm. a childhood dream. I mean, old Hood could get along. Yeah. Um, he was listening to Van Halen, Motley Crue, Deep Purple, and uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, I love nice. Van Halen. So nice. That's uh, I just Eight like hours. I think I could do a I minute. I would be. I would have the shakes by like minute three. I mean, I usually <laughs> eight hours. That's driving to Daytona. That's, that's, a, that's a work that's day. A work day. Yeah. it's driving to that's, Daytona. That is farther work. than it's, Daytona. I don't know what a work day is. I'm sorry, <laughs> I cannot relate. <laughs> I have not uh, done this uh, business don't work, do that, uh, which you speak. It's an endurance race. <laughs> Actually, I mean, ah, okay, okay. yeah. Okay. What's for, the longest for us, race? This you've... is technically work. Right. Longest one. Like, in, like, have you done any sort of endurance? Mm-hmm. Would you want to? Uh, sure. Oh, I need okay. all the road course help I can get. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I've always wanted to do the. Uh, have you heard of the twenty four hours of lemons? lemons? Yeah. Yes. yes. Down at uh, was it? It, Road America. No, yeah, no they do Atlanta. it in a couple of different Road places. Atlanta. But like uh, you get a car that's like valued eight something. or five hundred. Yeah. yeah, you have to make the they safety modification. Seriously, yeah. I know a guy that that did yeah. the that race. Like that's the and type he was of like racing. super into it. Yeah, that's the type of racing I think uh, I could yeah, do. Yeah, we we had always talked about doing that. Yeah, I think it's, it might be five hundred bucks. Yeah, it's not bad. Lemons. Whatever it is. Yeah. Does your friend uh, did, how, how has he competed recently? Does he uh, still? It was probably a few years ago. This is your older boyfriend that. Played no, basketball or football, no, football with my grandfather. No, back no. In <laughs> Kim Kim's into older men. Uh, she uh, dates octogenarians. Yeah. That is her her wheelhouse. So hey, we have things in common. I like to sit and drink my coffee and Knitting, read the news yeah, and yeah. You read newspaper. Uh, Listening to the antique TV really shopping loud. and I lost I my touch for antique shopping. Really? Yeah, Dang. I used to love it, and now I go in there and I'm like, ugh. I I go in waves. Like sometimes I, it's very regularly I'll go, and then sometimes I don't. Mm. It also helps to go to like different cities. Yeah. Like when you go to the same place over and over again, it's kind of like yeah. I've seen all this stuff. Yeah, bring true. in some new stuff. True. This stuff is overpriced for what it is. You could just go to Blaney's house. Looks like an antique. Could shop. he does have a, a lot of antiques? But see, does he have like cast iron pots and stuff? Because that's what I'm looking for. Right no, now. I don't I'm think I'm in so. the market for cast. I don't iron think he has so. a pot. Does he cook? Does he have a pot to piss in? <laughs> I don't know about that. And I, I don't. Uh, he cooks on the grill. Yeah. But do you think he's in a pot, staying in a teepee wherever he I is? I think probably. He's using a glory hole. Mm, mm. Yes. Yes. <laughs> 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 but there's a gimp on the other side. Oh is, no. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what kind of people do you think you meet at a place like that? What a glory hole? <laughs> no. <laughs> Quishes. All I can think of is the people is named Dumb Quisha. and Dumber. <laughs> What? Isn't it Dumb and Dumber where that where there's the glory hole? What movie is it where there's a glory hole in the bathroom? Uh, there's a website. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. Oh, that's a scary movie. Is there's one in scary movie because they reenact but, Scream. But I think yeah. I think that one in scary movie is a takeoff of another movie. I don't remember. Yeah, that. like a horror Anything. movie. Like everything in that is like a yeah. yeah. It's, it's like a, a parody. Parody of yes, thank you. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what. I don't know what I'm but thinking. But were you of. saying the type of people that go to the place where Blaney is yeah. now, the Dude Ranch? Is he a? It's a it's basically a Dude, dude ranch. ranch. I looked it up. What happens at a Dude Ranch? Is well, this like, it, um, have you seen the movie Brokeback City Mountain? Sli- City Slickers. <laughs> we no. Two, yeah, we were we like, two totally different <laughs> cowboy movies. <laughs> it's I'm not, lost. It, okay. Have you not seen City Slickers? No. Norman the Cow. I've heard of it. Billy, uh, Billy Crystal, and uh, it's good. It's a good movie. I, I saw it when I was very little, so I don't know that I got the humor. But it's basically a bunch of city folks that go out and hang on a dude ranch, and uh, um, I wouldn't consider. Would we consider Ryan a city folk? No, but the the concept of that ranch, like they're doing yeah. horseback riding, cattle they're rustling, they're eating over like, the fire. Yeah, gotcha. They're doing all of that stuff. That's right up his so alley. If he shows up with a baby cow mm-hmm. named Norman. Mm. It's because he was watching City Slickers. City Slickers. And City Slickers Does he have too. the dog with him? Does he have mm. Sturgill with him? I don't no. Know. Mm-hmm. No. Mm. Um, but yeah, City Slickers. Go check it out. It is a funny movie, I thought. I've seen both. I'd have to rewatch it because, again, it's yeah, I'd have very to young watch it for the first time. It. it was Joe Pesci. Not Joe Pesci. He wasn't in no, it. No, Joe Pesci's not in it. There was an old uh, Jack Palance was in uh, it. The old cowboy Jack Palance. I'd have to see if I was Clint Eastwood? No, he no. wasn't in it. But he, he's the same sort of vintage cowboy. Like, he. Played the bad guy in a lot of those old gotcha. yeah. Clint Eastwood era movies. Okay. So like. I mean, they made two of those movies. Yeah. So uh, of the city. Sisters. Curly. His name was Curly. Oh okay. 
Isn't that Three Stooges? Yeah. Larry Moe. Curly. Which which Curly though? Curly Joe. What, Curly Q. Because there were several. <laughs> they're like because there were multiple Curlies, and you know there was Shimp, yeah. the other uh, Stooge. Yeah. There are more than three. They're I'm just saying. Way just over saying. my head. Oh. Just saying stuff. Um, oh boy. So um, the next part of the uh, podcast is looking ahead to uh, Auto Club. Yes. Yes. And the rest of the West Coast swing. Yes. Because we're talking about Western things, and I'm wearing a Western shirt. Ah, that makes sense. Finding a so transition, going, that was my awkwardest transition. I when think I see ever. going back to Cali, I don't think of, like, Western. I think of like Biggie. Yes, going, I was about to say, back, gangster back rap. To, which, <laughs> why'd you have to, gangster yeah. rap? <laughs> <laughs> gangster rap, yo. It felt natural. <laughs> Are you down with the OPP? <laughs> yeah. Because you, you know, know me. me. <laughs> That's By the right. way, have you seen the history of hip hop on uh, Netflix? I need to watch it. It's on my. It's, it's on my queue. It's very. It's good. It's good. And they get like I watched this most recent season. They you know do a little uh, outcast and they go to New York and mm, talk a little Biggie. Outcast. They talk a little Wu Tang. They talk a little Tribe Called Quest. Like it's it's Ooh, good. Like they hit everything and it mm. gives a very good. I think That's they're cool. in season four. Okay. Kind of like us. It's crazy. Yeah. Crazy. Coincidence. We're not talking as much rap though. Are you no. doing anything fun in California? Uh, no, I don't think so. Oh. Not sure. Okay. Uh, no. I I'm mean, not. besides the race, because. I mean, you know, racing on Sunday. Uh, <laughs> no, because there's just like so far, like I'm not the one to drive to LA. Yeah. Um, so no, I'm not. Probably go take some pictures. I have my camera stuff with me. Oh, yeah, I've some. been liking the pictures. Thanks. I'm trying to get a little better. I know. I want to like shoot people. That's what I'm saying. Like, with cameras, the cameras. Cameras. Yeah. yeah. But it's like awkward because I like I've never done that and be like, hey, let me shoot you. <laughs> Weird. You should. I'd yeah. be curious to see what kind Could, of work you would be able to come yeah, up with, I don't know. like shooting actual people. Yeah. Who's for me? I want to get into portrait stuff. So. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Ooh. I feel like there's an. I want like the good, like the like Vanity Fair esque portraits or like Annie Leibovitz, like more like gritty's not the right word, but not like. So one of the not like your senior. High not school. like senior portraits and not like Instagram girl portrait, yeah, like yeah. more like authentic and like yeah. raw portrait. Type. One of the guys at the LARPing I fest that I went yeah. to had a wet plate set up. So he's doing the... Never heard of wet plate. So it's the old camera where, where it's set to, up and there's chemicals the and chemical. basically you've got the camera you know box, the, you put the, the thing in there. the photography class like in the movies where they had photography class in high school and you would have to like hang the photos. Um, I thought that, that was just film. It's 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 the early film because yeah. you're developing it in the solution, in the solution. Oh. but it's a piece of glass. Oh, huh. so yeah. oh, you're basically putting the, and it like the colors that it brings out, and like the look of it is like it's 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 an art form. Like it That's is cool. true art because you're dealing mm-hmm. with the light. Yeah. the light has to be and perfect. You take and... the cap off. It's how long do you expose it? You put it back on. Like there's That's cool. Yeah, and you get some really cool. Uh, I was trying to see if I could find wet plate. Yeah. Hmm. Like, you get this sort of look right here. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. yeah. So he was doing all kinds of different, like, landscape things yeah. and all that. So That's cool. It takes okay. the photography to another. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But uh, the portrait aspect of it. Yeah. The facial. But, like, people looking like people and yeah. not, like, airbrushed or Photoshopped. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, You yeah. see, yeah. like. You want the flaws. Wrinkles and you Absolutely. see, like, in, yeah. in, in mm-hmm. imperfections. Mm-hmm. Yeah, kind of like this show. Yeah. It's full of wrinkles and imperfections. And flaws. Absolutely. And flaws. And queefing. And queefing. Yeah. <laughs> I keep wanting to make that plural. Quisha? Quisha. Quisha is plural. Like flock is plural or like group is plural. Yeah. Quish is plural Quish of is queef. Group is Queefs? plural? Like, wait, what? Oh, group's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, wait, what? <laughs> or flock's not. I meant more plural like meaning like a, multiple. Like the word's not plural. So queefs, it, so queefs is the plural of, of queefs. Que- but... A quiche is a group a, a of queefs. queefs happening at the same time. Yes, from but different, you could have a plural. Like a bunch of birds. Queefs. It's a flock of queefs. Yes. It's a quiche. That was a, that was a, that was a very bad example. In the wild. Those aren't plural. I, I'm with you now. I'm you know with what I'm you saying? Like yes. it's a, it represents it's a group. A group thing. Yes. But you could have a plural of that word. Yes. Yeah. So wow. your plural will be multiple groups of people queefing. <laughs> <laughs> it all comes back to queefs. Yeah. <laughs> so on that note <laughs> I'm going to hit the music <laughs> All right, we're going to play good it out so, yeah, good, good for show good for show yeah, 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 good lap. job good job yes, we got a minute and 38 left and we're just going to talk about queefing for the entire time and completely alienate a lot of fans that's what I think or they're going to be they're gonna what percentage it. of the fans don't know what that is do you think what 
queefing? Mm. Yeah. Well, like the like the twelve and thirteen year old. You gotta kids learn that something. They no, got something. That's, that's about like when you, you learn. learn about it. Yeah. yeah. So you're welcome. What what uh we're, what we are in February, so school yeah. year's almost over. Oh yeah, they definitely know about it. Yeah. Because yeah. you find that out like around like Christmas and stuff. So, is it so weird? Like <laughs> Christmas. That's when you learn about queefing. <laughs> Oh, you have whole yeah, Christmas break. Yeah. I want for Christmas is my two front queef. Because our school year just started, so I was like, wait, the end of the school year, we have a long way to go. Because I like think of our like school yeah. year, like we just started, like the racing season. I was like, oh, what? Oh, 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 yeah, not uh, a legit school year. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's like, would you rather have a winter break in racing, or would you rather have a summer break? I'd have both. <laughs> <laughs> both, please. Both. We get it this year. We get two weeks in the summer. Going to Iceland. Oh, yeah. ah, Rick, 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 I, I can't know. say it with that. Rikivik? Rikivik? Uh, yeah. Sure. I've I heard know. Iceland is incredible. 24 7 sunlight. Well, yeah. Depends on what yeah. So we're going to do another trip to go okay. to, at night, see the Northern Lights and stuff. Oh. Mm. That would be sick for five hours. That's dope. Yeah. Jealous. So cool. Well, Bubba, thank you for joining us. Yep. Anytime. Always a pleasure. Yeah. Just and let me know it's in Charlotte. <laughs> yeah. On the original yeah. text. Yeah. I will. I will. Yeah. I'll do that next time. Yeah. Remember, rate and review on iTunes. Uh, like us on Facebook. Uh, check us out on YouTube. Comment. Let us know. Uh, and we are listening to all of your tweets and stuff, even if we don't respond. We're back. We're back. Back. Quish. <laughs>